Hi everyone, welcome back to Organism of the Week at the Bee Museum. This week's organism is the American Badger. I hope y'all are ready for some badger puns. Badgers are named for the badge-like marks on their faces. They're a part of the mustelid family, which includes animals like wolverines, weasels, ferrets, minks, and otters. The American Badger is found throughout the US, Canada, and Mexico. Female American Badgers weigh about 15 pounds, while males are slightly heavier at an average max weight of 19 pounds. Badgers are carnivores, but they ain't out in the wilderness eating ribeye steaks. They eat gophers, mice, moles, insects, burrowing owls, snakes, including rattlesnakes, and lots of other animals. Badgers are nocturnal, so they do most of their hunting at night. They also eat some plants, but their diet is mostly made up of other animals, like this lucky pheasant here. Badgers are mainly solitary animals. After mating in the late summer, the two parents will separate and won't see each other the rest of the year. Um, the mother does all of the parenting on her own, which is too bad for the male badgers, because baby badgers are super cute. The mother badger hopes her little badgers can grow up to be goodgers. Get it? Badgers? Goodgers? He'd smile if he wasn't dead. Badgers also have really big claws that are great for digging. They like to live in grasslands and open areas where there's lots of places to dig. They'll either dig a burrow from scratch or enlarge a pre-existing burrow. Badger dens can be up to 10 feet deep and 6 feet across, and females will often dig multiple dens. Badger burrows are also used by a wide variety of other animals, like rodents, burrowing owls, and even tortoises. While they don't cooperate with members of their own species, badgers have been known to pair up with coyotes to hunt ground squirrels. When a ground squirrel spots a coyote, its first reaction is to dive into the nearest burrow, since coyotes aren't good diggers. When confronted with a badger, a ground squirrel's first reaction is to climb out of a burrow and run away, since badgers aren't as fast as the squirrel above ground. But when the badger and the coyote hunt together, it's a catch-22 for the squirrel. One of the predators is going to catch the squirrel no matter which way he decides to run. Pretty nifty. All right, so that's a bit of information on the American badger, our organism of the week. Here in the museum, if you talk to someone wearing a green shirt, you can get a limited edition American Badger bio card. This week only. Next week's organism of the week is the Harpy Eagle. If you have any questions about the Harpy Eagle, submit a question on our website. Don't worry, all your questions aren't going to badger us too much.